All right, guys, can you hear me better? <laughs> a few of y'all requested that I try the personal mic. I'm still getting used to like how it's very sensitive. So I hope you guys are enjoying the audio quality today as we talk about Amazon products. I usually do a monthly haul that's really big, but I kind of wanted to start breaking it down and doing weekly hauls because I think I can talk a little bit more about why I brought the product and what I like about it versus trying to just like spit the information out as quick as possible so the video isn't six days long. I'll have everything numbered on the screen so it's easy to shop and we will start out with it's actually two products but I'm gonna have them both linked under number one and it is these two. So this is the lotion. This is the perfume. This is number 62. I also love number 68. I did not know, like this is the Brazilian bum bum cream. And I thought that that was like the full name for it. I didn't realize that they actually just usually, if you say like, I'm wearing Sol de Janeiro 62, people like know what you're talking about. So I tried 68 from this perfume. It's the pink bottle and the huge one. And I loved it. But I mentioned in my eight like must have life changing products video that I will link right here for y'all. I mentioned that being in the postpartum phase is such a weird time and I like things that make me feel put together or just make me feel really good and that is scents. I know that a lot of people aren't about that scent life anymore but I am. This lotion, this perfume, number 62, smells like absolute heaven. This is pistach, pist I can, why can I not say that word, you guys? I don't know. It always takes me multiple times. Pistachio and salted caramel. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments. I'm not kidding. So I've been wearing the perfume and the lotion regularly, and I love them. And I also will say a tiny bit goes a very long way. So these are a little bit more expensive, but I find that they're one that you're going to be able to have for a really, really, really long time. Next product is like three separate things, but again, I'll link these all under number two. And I was not aware that we were using snails as a part of our skincare. I feel like I was living under a rock a little bit, but I ran across a um, esthetician on TikTok and she, I wish I knew her name. I went back and I tried to find the video. It has been forever ago, but I couldn't find it. So if you guys know which esthetician I'm talking about, please put her info in the comment section below. She mentioned four products. It was one of those like, can't believe this has the audacity to make my skin look so good, like sarcastic style videos. And this was one of the products that she mentioned. So I just, I wish I knew who she was so I could give her credit because this has been life changing. This is actually called the Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. And it says being 96% snail secretion, this essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. And that is so true. One of the things she said was that this makes your skin look like glass. And I was like, sold. And then I mentioned it on Instagram and everybody and their mothers was like, oh my God, I've been using that for months. And I was like, I missed the memo that we're using snail in our skincare now. So, oh my gosh, it is cruelty free. It's Korean skincare. But when I tell you that this is actually going to, after just one use, completely change up your skin, you have no idea what you're missing out on. And it's actually fairly affordable too. Just make sure that you um, have a damp face when you do apply it. I actually spray my thirsty face mist from Dime on my skin um, and then I'll go in with this. And literally the next morning after using this for the first time, I noticed my skin felt so smooth and now I feel like it truly is starting to get that like glass look to it. This is the happiest I've been with my skin in my entire life and it is because of this product right here. However, because of y'all's liking of it, I was like, okay, y'all are telling me to try the moisturizer and the eye cream, so let's try them out. I have been super happy with these. The eye cream itself does have actually a lot of like brightening effects to it. I feel like my eyes do look way brighter since using this. I feel like I'm cheating on Dime using these products because I've always been such a Dime lover, but I mean, I just cannot help how good this stuff is making my skin look and feel. So that's why I've been using this. And I also switched out and now I'm using this as my nighttime moisturizer. I feel like this is all a little bit too hydrating to use during the day because I think it would make like break up my makeup. It may not, that's up to you. If you have really dry skin, you probably could use it twice a day, but the moisturizer is just an extra boost of hydration. And pro tip, if you have eczema, this helps as well. I have eczema on my arms and the other day I just decided to try it. Very next morning, completely gone. And I usually struggle with eczema this time of year. So these three products are incredible. Again, fairly affordable, especially um, if you compare like how much product you're gonna get out of this. I did not know we were using snail skincare, but let me tell you, 
never ever will I be without these ever again. This is kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in the beauty category. This is a drink that if you guys struggle with hydration or if you are breastfeeding is an absolute must. So coconut water really is the superior beverage when it comes to quenching thirst fast. I find that coconut water is just so hydrating. And when you are breastfeeding, nothing I think can help boost your milk supply like coconut water can. Now, some people, I mean, I'm just one of those people who I am a little bit more blessed and I very much so make a lot of milk regularly. But if I ever notice that like it's dipping down a little bit or, you know, I just, I need just a little boost, I will definitely drink one of these. And within like a three hour time frame, I will notice a difference. But I kind of sip on these regularly while breastfeeding again, just because the coconut water does make a difference. Um, but I get these from Amazon because I struggle to find at least at my local stores, the 16 ounce that's not in a variety pack of this flavor. So kiwi strawberry is my favorite. This is the body armor light. So it's the 20 calorie one. Um, they have some that have a lot more calories in them and I don't like to drink calories. So um, this is the body armor light. But again, I just like to get this size in this flavor, not a variety pack. So that's why I get them off Amazon. Definitely still in the beauty category because this is one I've been very happy with. And again, I feel like I started to see results super, super fast. So this is the Nivea gel cream, skin firming and toning, um, just like essentially cream. Um, it has Q10 and L carnitine in it, I believe is how you say that. And it does say on the bottle, it's for normal skin. This is actually going to help with the tightening of your skin. And I feel like my skin is a lot looser this go around after a second baby, especially so close together. And this was one, I mean, I had barely been using this for like a week and I was like, okay, I am noticing that the skin, especially around my belly button is looking a lot firmer. So I'm really excited to see how my skin looks with this the longer that I use it. It does say that it is for thighs, your butt and your stomach. Um, and that's where I've been using it. And I've just noticed everything looks a lot firmer. So I don't think it's necessarily going to take away all of that loose skin, but I think it's going to help firm it up and kind of speed up that process um, a little bit quicker. So I've really liked this so far, but I will also say I had to stop using Using it just because I do have those three incisions now. If you missed it, I had my fallopian tubes removed a week ago. Um, and so I didn't want to like be putting any product on my belly, you know, while I do have incisions. So I had to stop. That's going to kind of pause, you know, the progress. So we will see in a couple of months how my belly skin looks, but so far I've been very impressed. This is such a random item that I bought in the heat of the moment because I was really frustrated. So I like to wear rings on multiple fingers. I always have. And I just one day was really frustrated because one, I had to order a um, pinky ring. And then two, I had a ring come in and I was like, I thought, like, I swear to you, my finger is a size eight. So I was like, you know what? Let's just order a ring sizer. I personally like this style ring sizer versus like there's one that you it kind of looks like a little basically mini tape measure for your finger. I think that these are important because you need to know how a ring is going to feel as it slides over your knuckle. That matters because my husband's wedding ring did not fit for the longest time because he just, the lady sized his finger, not his like, you know, didn't take into account his knuckle. And and so he like couldn't get it over his knuckle and it was just, it was a whole thing. So I absolutely recommend if you like jewelry, if you like wearing rings, if you buy a lot of rings, go ahead and get this. It also does have half sizes, which is why I realized I have a seven and a half for both of these fingers here. So if I'm getting a thick ring, I need to go down to a seven or if it's a thinner ring, I get a seven and a half or an eight. So this was just a super random impulse buy because I was really frustrated one day. So bought this and I actually really like it. I am queen of wearing jewelry to bed. It's a really bad habit of mine and it does wear jewelry out quicker. I know. So I'm trying to get better about taking off my jewelry, but it was kind of just sitting out all over my counter really it just, it looked a hot mess. So I have always found that even if you only put things and you just like throw them on a tray, I feel like having a tray makes everything look a little bit more organized. So I got this tray to hold my jewelry um, on my counter in the bathroom. Also because I just have a lesser chance of knocking things off the counter with this little lip here. So I wanted to get a really pretty 
like marble tray. This thing is heavy duty. It is gorgeous. I mean, honestly, one of the like prettiest pieces. It's kind of a shame that it sits in my bathroom and a lot of people don't see it. I might move it and start using it for home decor because it is beautiful, but I did purchase it just to hold kind of like my jewelry because I'm trying to get better about the daily pieces that I wear taking them off, putting them down so that they're not constantly being worn um, in the shower and to sleep and stuff. So that's why I got this, but I mean, the quality is just like 12 out of 10, incredible. Sticking with home decor, I bought these four books. <laughs> so I needed something to add a little bit of height. The high ceilings in this house, definitely it matters how you decorate. You want to still bring the eyes up and not have everything shrunk down. So I needed something that added a little bit of height for decor and coffee table books are really expensive, but also I have a toddler who tries to rip through them. So these actually are like fake books. They don't even open. They're like just like cardboard and they look really nice. So I like that I can use these again. They're not like books being used, you know, with something on top of them. They're for added height. So I got this little four pack off of Amazon and I have been super happy with them. I have um, these two in one place and these two in another. And I mean, again, they look like legit books. So I really like the appearance of them and that they're just lightweight. Um, and my son can't, absolutely destroy a book. So cute little decor piece. Um, you can use these a few different ways, but I have them just like separated out laying flat. These candles I actually bought for the holidays. So I've told y'all that we are going to be hosting and my tablescape vibe this year for Thanksgiving. This is going to sound really funny, but in design school, I learned that you can use whatever words you want to, to describe like a design that you're coming up with. And the two words that I keep coming up with when I think of what I want my tablescape to look like for Thanksgiving is soft and warm. <laughs> so with that being said, we are going to have a lot of candles. So I wanted varying heights. I got a few packs of these candles. Um, and I let me know if y'all want to see a video on kind of like what I'm planning for our Thanksgiving tablescape this year. It's all going to be from like Amazon and Walmart. It's all really affordable stuff since it's only going to be used once a year. But, um, I do still like have this really pretty idea in mind. So I wanted to get these candles that are just different sizes. So again, I bought a few packs of these, three different size candles in this one box, and I am planning on using these for Thanksgiving day. They do not have a scent to them. Um, they had a couple different color options and they all came wrapped really neat, neat and nicely. I can speak in these boxes with bubble wrap. So they're very easy to store as well. So I cannot wait for Thanksgiving and to host for the first time. So again, let me know if y'all wanna see a video on that. And if you are enjoying this video, then please make sure to click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join. I post a ton of Amazon content and I will continue on now while not being on my little spiel here about where should you should follow me and I will share this is an impulse purchase that's just so silly, but you know what I mean, okay? We are cup girlies here on this channel, and I love a good cup. So I bought this glass cup because I like it. <laughs> I think it's so cute, and I love my little evening Diet Cokes. I know it's bad for you, but I just can't help it. I love Diet Cokes. So I got this glass, and then it has... It actually comes in a two pack. It has this lid to it as well. So you don't have to use the lid or you can. And it also comes with a glass straw. Um, I do find that anything with a lid is a little bit more favorable around here because it gives me just a little bit of buffer time if my toddler gets his grubby little hands on it first. So I bought this little two pack of glasses and I've loved them for my evening diet Cokes with my fancy ice maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this as well because I did buy this this past week. I told y'all in my Amazon Prime video that I really was thinking about buying the GE ice maker because we're gonna be hosting so much and it never fails. We always forget ice. Um, I use a ton of ice, my husband uses a ton of ice and I was like, you know what? Let's just do it, let's just get it. And I saw it was on a deal the other day so I went ahead and bought it and I have loved it so much. So many of you guys on my Instagram actually were like, no, you're actually gonna be obsessed with it. And you say it's like one of the best things you ever got in your kitchen or you got it as a gift and you're like, I use it every day. It's so, so good. So it is a hefty price tag, but I did wanna go ahead and tell y'all I purchased it and I am loving it. I found it very easy to clean. It is loud. That thing is loud, but we have it in our pantry. So it's like kind of away from the bedrooms at nighttime. Um, it just sounds like 
I mean, white noise or like a regular ice maker, but I will just like make sure I point that out. It is definitely a little bit on the louder side if you don't have the ability to really make sure it's away from your bedroom. Um, be careful with purchasing it, but I did buy it. And then every night I put my lovely for dinner, my lovely little ice in this fancy little cup and I drink my Diet Coke and I'm just like, feeling bad and bougie and it's not even that big of a deal, but I did, I did buy it and I told you guys I wanted to and I love it. This brand has easily become one of my favorites since we've moved into this house. So this is the Therapy Clean brand and I originally searched and searched for a stainless steel cleaner that was actually going to be a good cleaner. I wanted it to also wipe off the stains and polish and I find that I could not find a stainless steel cleaner that did both of those until I tried this brand and I loved it and I got so many of you guys on it and you all say it's really good. So when I wanted um, a new like furniture polish immediately I went and looked to see if this brand had anything and they did it smells like heaven this has um, so it has essential oils in it I don't believe it tells you what scent is in here no it doesn't but it just smells really like fresh and clean I can't even describe that scent y'all know I suck at describing them but um, this one is a plant-based cleaner. It says it nourishes and protects, and it also is a conditioning treatment. So it's really great on wood products. Um, it just makes them shine, cleans them very easily. So I have been very happy with this, and it does have just one of those little tops. So be careful, a little bit goes a long way, but I love this brand, cannot recommend it enough. Um, so not just this, but if you're looking for a good stainless steel cleaner, that's a good option. And then I do have one kid product in this video. So this, look at this sleep sack. Do you guys see how tall this thing is? My child only has like that much at the bottom where his feet don't hit. He is the tallest little 18 month old in the entire world. So he also likes to wear these as capes. So they're like really, they, they work for so many things in this house. If you've seen me on Instagram, you like, have you seen, he likes us to zip this up behind him and he wears it as a cape. But his pediatrician told us we could go ahead and transfer him to like using a muslin blanket at nighttime if he wanted. But she did say, I will tell you, as big as he is, he's going to climb out of his crib. And the day he climbs out of his crib, you have to drop it to the floor, like, you know, com basically convert it to a big boy bed. And she was like, no more cribs. So I went online and decided instead of a muslin blanket, let's try muslin um, sleep sacks. I want to keep it in, in a sleep sack for as long as possible because I do not want my kid climbing out of his crib. He is a clumsy child just like me and I know he will fall. So I found these super tall sleep sacks. I feel like these are so hard to find, um, but because they're muslin, they're actually really, really good quality too. I do think the price is a little ridiculous. I think it's because they know with this link, like you have a bigger kid that you want to keep in a sleep sack, but I've been really impressed with the quality. They are definitely warm enough for him, um, but they're also long for my very, very tall child. This is for, I believe, three to four year olds. So there's a tag somewhere on it, and I will tell you all what size. This is the XL, but I believe it did say like three and four years old, or it's like the 3T. Um, and again, we just zip it up on the back and he like wears it around the house because he loves to have his little cape on. So we get a lot of use out of these, but I did want to tell you if you have a tall kid like mine and you were looking for a sleep sack, these are great. And that's it for this video again wanted to do a weekly one and just wanted to like dive a little bit deeper. I think that some of my products that I'm always like, do they really want to hear about that? Are the products that you guys end up loving the most because they're those random day to day things that aren't like specific decor or